دعاء أبو حمزة فمالي in English In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful O oh Allah, do not discipline me by means of your punishment and do not subject me to your planned strategy From where do I obtain the bounties, O oh Lord, while none can be found except with you? And how can I seek salvation while it can be granted by none but you? Neither can the good doer do without your help and mercy, nor can the sinful one who offended you when sinning and displeased you bypass the realm of your power and capacity. O oh my Lord, O oh my Lord, O oh my Lord. O oh my Lord, O oh my Lord, O oh my Lord, I knew of you by you and you directed me to you and called me to you and without you I would not have known what you are. All praises for Allah whom I call upon with my needs, then he answers me, even though I was slow when he calls upon me. All praises for Allah whom I supplicate and he grants me what I plead for. Even though I was stingy when he sought a loan from me. All praises for Allah, whom I call upon with my needs whenever I wish, and I entrust him with my secrets without an intercessor, and he grants me my wishes. All praises for Allah, whom I do not plead to anyone except him. For if I pleaded to others, they would not grant me anything. All praises for Allah who dignified me by becoming the disposer of my affairs, instead of making me rely on others who then would humiliate me. All praises for Allah who endured me, even though he is not in need of me. All praises for Allah who treats me with clemency, just as if I have no sin. So my Lord is the most praised by me of all, the most worthy of my praise. O oh Allah, I find the roads of wishes to you wide open, and the rivers of hope to you vast and running, and counting on your bountifulness in times of need for those who wished you freely accessible, and the gates of prayer to those who were disparate, wide ajar. And I know that you are for those who ask you in the position of answer. And for those who are distressed, you are in a posture of rescue. And in disparately seeking your generosity and being content with your judgment, I find it compensating from the rejection of the misers and more satisfying than the handouts of the selfish. And truly traveling to you is short in duration, and you do not veil yourself from your creatures unless their own misdeeds would block them from you. And I have sought you for my wish and directed my need to you, and I depend on you for my rescue, and I assign my pleading to you by praying to you, doing this while knowing that I'm not worthy of your listening to me, nor do I have a right on you to pardon me, but I do so because I trust Trust in your generosity, and I submit to your true promise to answer our prayers, and I take refuge through believing in your unity and through my certainty of knowledge about you, that I indeed, I have no other God or Lord but you, only you. There is no partner for you. O oh my Lord, you do not say, and all of what you say is true, and what you promise is unconditional, that O oh believers ask Allah of his bounty, for Allah is merciful towards you. And it is not from your features, O oh my Master, to order me to ask and prevent the answer, and you are the grantor of all the bounties and all residents of your kingdom, and the giver of your consoling tenderness. O oh my Lord, you have brought me up in your gifts and bounties since I was youthful and elevated my designation as I grew older. So, O oh, the one who brought me up in this life with his benevolence, bountifulness and blessings and indicated to me his forgiveness and generosity in the year after. 
My knowledge, O oh my Master, is that which guides me to you, and my love is my intercessor to you, and I am trusting of my evidence with your guidance and comfortable of my intercessor with your intercession. I pray to you, O oh my Master, with a tongue that has been paralyzed by its sin, O oh my Lord, I confide to you with a heart that has been doomed by its mischief, I pray to you, O my Lord, frightened but wishful, hopeful but fearful, if I contemplate my sins. O my Lord, I become scared, though when I remember your generosity, I yearn. So if you forgive, you are the most merciful, and if you punish, you have not unjustly judged. My excuse, O Allah, in my daring to ask you, even though I have committed what you hate, is your benevolence and generosity, and my preparation for my adversity, given that I lack shyness in committing sin, is your forbearance and mercy. And I am wishful that my hope will not be disappointed. So fulfill my ambition and accept my prayer, O the best who was ever prayed to. O oh, the most bountiful who was ever wished, my hope, my master, is ever great, but my deeds have worsened, so grant me from your pardon by as much as I had hoped, and please do not judge me by my worst mischief. For your generosity is greater than punishing the sinners, and your forbearance and patience is higher than recompensing the inadequates. I am, my master, seeking refuge through your bountifulness. I am escaping from you to you while anticipating your promise to forgive those who possessed good convictions towards you. Who am I, my Lord, and what is my danger? Provide me with your bounties and grant me charity with your pardon. O my Lord, cover me with your protection and pardon me of my punishment by the honor of your face. For if anyone today other than you would have known of my sin, I would not have sinned. And if I feared that you may hasten my punishment, I would have avoided sinning. Not because you are not an important watcher, nor an unworthy onlooker, but because you, my Lord, are the best secret keeper and the wisest of all rulers, and most generous of all generous. O protector of secrets, O oft forgiver of sins, O knower of all that is hidden, you protect the secrets of sin with your generosity, and you delay my punishment with your patience. So to you extends all the praise for having known and yet been patient, and for having pardoned even though you are capable of punishing. And what motivates and dares me to disobey you is your patience with me, and what invites me to the lack of shyness from you is your protection of my concealed sins. And what rushes me towards your forbidden actions is my awareness of the vastness of your mercy and the greatness of your forgiveness. O oh, forbearer, O oh, generous, O oh, one who is living and self-subsisting, O oh, forgiver of sin, O oh, acceptor of repentance, O oh, greatest giver of all good, O oh, ancient in bountifulness, I call upon your beautiful protection of secrets. I call upon your abundant pardon. I call upon your neighboring relief. I call upon your quick rescue. I call upon your vast mercy and compassion. I call upon your bountiful gifts. I call upon your blessed awards. I call upon your splendid favors. I call upon your immense bountifulness. I call upon your enormous endowments. I call upon your ancient benefaction. I call upon your benevolence, O oh, most generous. By it, what I mentioned of your features, I seek your rescue. And by your compassion, please relieve me, O oh, benevolent, O oh, creator of beauty. O oh, benefactor, O oh, bountiful, I do not depend on our good deeds to achieve salvation from your punishment. Rather, I trust it to your bountifulness towards us. For you are the Lord of righteousness and the Lord of forgiveness. 
You initiate your giving through your graciousness and you pardon sin with your generosity. And we do not know what we should praise more. Is it the beauties that you distribute or the sins whose secretiveness you protect? Or the greatness of which you have granted and fulfilled? Or the many misfortunes you have averted and ills you have cured? O oh, the lover of whom ever endeared you, O oh, the delight of the eye of who sought you for refuge and dedicated himself to you, you are the well-doer and we are the sinners. So pardon, O oh my Lord, the ugly that we have with the beauties that you have. And what ignorance, O oh my Lord, cannot be accommodated by your benevolence. And what era is longer than your patience? And what significance is our deeds compared with your awards? And how can we hail our good deeds when we observe your generosity? Yet how can sinners despair when they are encompassed by your vast mercy? O oh, vast forgiver, O oh, extended of both hands with mercy, I swear with your exalted might, O oh, Master, that if you rebuked me, I would not depart from your door, and I won't cease to compliment you since I have indeed come to grasp the knowledge of your generosity and benevolence and you are the doer of whatever you desire you punish whomever you wish with whatever you wish and however you wish and you bestow your mercy on whomever you wish with whatever you wish and however you wish you are never questioned about your doings Neither is there any struggle in your kingdom, nor is there any partnership in your command or conflict in your judgment, and no one can oppose you in your disposition of affairs. To you belongs all of the creation and command. Indeed, Allah, the most glorious, is the cherisher and sustainer of the worlds. O oh my Lord, this is the posture of the one who sought refuge through you and allied himself with your generosity and became accustomed to your forbearance and favors and you are the benevolent whose forgiveness is never strained neither are your bounties ever decreasing nor is your mercy ever lacking and we have known with certainty of your ancient pardon great bountifulness and vast mercy would you O oh Allah ever disappoint our thoughts or let down our hopes no never O oh, most generous, for it is not what we expect of you, nor is it what we aspire for. O oh Allah, we have a greater and everlasting hope in you. We anticipate prolonged and immense prospect in you. We anticipate great desire in you. We disobeyed you, and now we wish that you protect our secret sins. And we prayed to you, and we hope you would answer us. So fulfill our aspiration, O oh, our Master, for otherwise... We realize the punishment we deserve as a result of our bad deeds. But your awareness of our conduct and our knowledge that you indeed won't send us away from you has motivated us to seek you. And even though we are not worthy of your mercy, you are worthy of bestowing your generosity on us and on all the sinners due to your vast compassion. So award us with what you are worthy of and grant us for we are in need of your bounty. O oh, most forgiving, with your light we were guided and with your bounties we became richer. And with your favors we are encountered mornings and evenings. Our our sins are before you, and we ask you, O oh Master, for forgiveness, and we hereby repent. You befriend us with your gifts, but we reward you by sins. Your bounty to us is ever descending, but our mischief to you is ever ascending. And from before and until now, your honored angel still brings you the news of our ugly deeds, but that does not prevent you from continuing to surround us with your grace and kindly provide us with your holy features. So I glorify and praise you for the extent of your patience 
Greatness and generosity as a beginner of creation and eventual claimer of this world. Holiest are your names and glorified is your praise and honored are your favors and good deeds. You, my Lord, are most vast in bounty and greater in patience and clemency than to judge me according to my wrongdoing and fault. So I beg you, forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. Oh, my master, oh, my master, oh, my master. O oh Lord, occupy our time with your remembrance and guard us from your wrath and protect us from your punishment and grant us from your rewards and award us from your bounties and provide us the means to conduct pilgrimage to your house, the Kaaba, and to visit the tomb of your prophet. May your peace, mercy, forgiveness and graciousness be bestowed upon him and his family. Indeed, you are close and forthcoming with your answer to our prayers and assist us in abiding by your obedience and claim our souls while we are in your righteous congregation and followers of the tradition of your prophet. May peace of Allah be upon him and his family. O Lord, forgive me and my parents and grant them mercy as they have raised me since I was youthful. Reward their good deeds and bountifulness and pardon their sins with forgiveness. O Lord, forgive the believers, be they men or women, living or dead, and let us follow on, our, on their path with good deeds. O Lord, forgive for the living or diseased of us, believers, the present and the absent, our male and female, our young and old, our free and our slave. Indeed, the antagonists of Allah lied and enormously wandered astray and incurred a major loss. O oh Lord, bestow your peace on Muhammad and his family, and conclude my life in virtue, and resolve what worries me from the affairs of this life and in the hereafter. And do not allow anyone who won't treat me justly to come in contact with me, and provide me with your everlasting protection. And do not deprive me of the best of the amenities you graced me with, and confer on me from your bounties. Vast awards that are lawful and good. O Lord, guard me with your safeguard and protect me with your protection and ally me with your alliance and award me with the ability to conduct pilgrimage to your sacred house, the Kaaba, in this year and in every year and to visit the tomb of your prophet and the imams. Peace be upon them. And do not deprive me, O Lord, from visiting these honorable sanctuaries and noble positions. O oh Lord, accept my repentance so that I may not disobey you and inspire me with righteousness and its implementation and the observance of your presence in the night and the day as long as you let me live. O oh Allah and cherisher of the worlds, O oh Lord, I, whenever I thought I was prepared and ready and rose to pray before your hands and confided to you, you cast sleep on me when I prayed, and you prevented me from confiding to you when I confided. Why is it that whenever I felt content about the goodness of my core and my companionships have neared that of the repentance, a sin would occur and cause my feet to stumble and deprive me from your service? O oh, my master, maybe you have expelled me from your door and retired me from your service. Or maybe you observed my disregard of your right on me and thus distanced me. Or maybe you saw me headed away from your path and thus you withdrew me. Or maybe you found me to be in the position of the liars, so you rejected me. Or maybe you saw that I was not grateful of your rewards, so you deprived me. Or maybe you observed my absence from the assembly of the scholars and thus put me down. Or maybe you found me to be one of the unheeded, so you despaired me from your mercy. Or maybe you found me frequenting the assembly of the unfaithful, so between me and them you deserted me. Or maybe you do not like to listen to my prayers, so you distanced me. Or maybe you equated me with my crime and sin. Or maybe you punished me for my lack of shyness from you. So if you forgive, O oh Lord, you have forgiven the many sinners before me. 
For your generosity, O Lord, is higher than punishing the delinquents, and I am seeking refuge with your bountifulness, and I am escaping from you to you and anticipating your promise to pardon those who possessed good convictions about you. O my Lord, you are most vast in bountifulness and greater in patience than to judge me according to my deed, or to stumble me with my sin. And who am I, my master? And what is my danger? Award me your benevolence, O my master, and render me your pardon, and cover me with the protection of my secrets, and pardon me from your chastisement with your benevolent face. O oh, Master, I am the young one whom you raised, I am the ignorant one whom you educated, and I am the misled whom you guided, and I am the humiliated one whom you elevated, and I am the frightened one whom you safeguarded, and the hungry one whom you fed, and the thirsty one whose thirst you quenched, and the naked whom you dressed, and the poor whom you made wealthy, and the weak whom you strengthened, and the insignificant whom you honored, and the sick whom you cured, and the beggar whom you provided charity to, and the sinner whose secret you have protected, and the wrongdoer whom you aided. And I am the little creature you made more significant, and the oppressed whom you made victorious. And I am the escapee whom you gave refuge to. I am the one, O Allah, who did not revere you when I committed sins in my seclusions, nor observed your commands in public. I am the possessor of the great craftiness. I am the one who dared his master. I am the one who disobeyed the commander of the skies. I am the one who awarded the briberies upon the disobeying of the magnificent Allah. I am the one who, when I was forewarned about it, I hastily raced to it. I am the one whom you awaited, but I did not comprehend, and you veiled my secret sins, but I did not become demure, and I committed sins until I belligerently insisted, and you then disregarded me, but I did not care. But with your benevolence, you postponed my punishment, and with your veil, you safeguarded my secret sins, as if you have overlooked me. And you shielded me from punishment, called upon me by my sins, all to the extent that it appeared as if you sheed off from me. O oh my Lord, I did not disobey you when I did, because I rejected your divinity, or because I belittled your commands or that I was daringly challenging your punishment, or that I did not appreciate your forewarning. Yet the mistake has occurred and myself misled me, and my sinful desires won over me, and my misery helped me to it, and your protective veil over my sins lured me. For I have disobeyed you and opposed you with my own will, and now, from your retribution, who would rescue me? And from the hands of your angels of punishment tomorrow, in the hereafter, who would redeem me? And with whose rope do I hold on to if you cut off your rope from me? So what a pity for what your book has recorded on me. Indeed, if it was not for my anticipation of your generosity and vast mercifulness, as well as your ordering me not to lose hope in your salvation, that I would have despaired whenever I remembered it. Oh, the best of whom a worshipper has ever prayed, and the foremost of whom anyone has wished. O oh Lord, in the name of the esteemed Islam, I implore you, and with the Holy Qur'an I take witness to you, and with my love for the unschooled Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa wasallam, the Qurayshian, the Hashemite, the Arabian, the Tuhamian, the Meccan, the Medinian, 
I seek to be closer to you. So please do not disrupt the serenity of my faith, and please do not cause my ultimate destiny to be similar to that of those who worshipped other than you. For indeed, there are some who believed only to the extent of their tongues, so that they may save their lives, and they gathered what they wished. But we have believed in you with our tongues, and with our hearts, so that you may pardon us. So grant us what we wish for and anchor our hope in you, in our hearts. And do not let our hearts go astray after you have guided us. And grant us your mercy. Indeed, you are the utmost grantor. And I swear with your glory that even if you sent me away, that I would not depart from your door. And I would not cease to compliment you, for my heart has been fully inspired with the knowledge of your benevolence and vastness of compassion. To where would a slave go but to his master? To where would a creature seek refuge but to his master and creator? O oh my Lord, even if you tied me with the chains of hell, and you deprived me your flowing stream of favors from between the witnesses of the day of judgment, and you pointed out my scandals to the eyes of your worshippers, and you ordered me to hell, and you isolated me from the company of the faithfuls, I would not end my hope in you, and I would not dismiss my reassurance of your pardon, and my love to you would not depart from my heart. I do not forget the helping hand you bestowed upon me and your protection of my secrets in life. O oh, my master, remove the adoration of worldliness from my heart and unite me with Mustafa and his family, the dearest of your creatures and the last of the prophets. Muhammad, peace from Allah upon him and his family, and transfer me to the level of repentance to you, and help me to cry for myself, for I have wasted my life away with procrastination and false hopes. And now I have come to you hopeless of my goodness, who is more worse off than me, if now I am passed on in my present state to a grave that I have not prepared for my repose. And I do not line with good deeds for my drowse. And why would I not weep? For I have no knowledge of my fate. And I observe myself deceiving itself. And my days are fading away. And the wings of death have flapped close by. So why wouldn't I cry? I cry for surrendering my life. I cry because of the darkness of my grave. I cry because of the narrowness of my grave. I cry for the questioning of Munkar and Nakir of me. I cry from my leaving my grave in the hereafter, naked, humiliated, and carrying my book of deeds on my back. I look to the right once and to the left once, and I discover that people today have other concerns than mine. For every person that day has a concern of his own. Some faces today are bright, laughing, and joyful, while other faces that day are dusty, loaded with submission and humility. O oh Master, I settle my destination, dependence, hope, and reliance upon you. And with your mercy I cling. You bestow your mercy on whomever you please, and you guide with your benevolence whomever you like. So praise to you for your purifying my heart from taking false partners to you. And praise to you for releasing my tongue. Is it with this heavy tongue of mine I thank you, or with the utmost effort of mine do I satisfy you? And what is the value of my tongue, O Lord, when it comes to thanking you? And what is the value of my good deeds besides your gifts and fortitude with me? O oh my Lord, indeed your generosity has expanded my hope in you, and your acceptance has led to the taking of my deed. O oh my Master, to you I direct my aim, fear, and meditation, and my hope has driven me to you, and on you, O oh Mighty One, I concentrate my initiative, and upon what you possess I unfolded my desire, and my ultimate hope and fear rests upon you. And with you I cheerfully contemplated your adoration, and I spread my hands wide open to you, and with the rope of your obedience I eased my fear.
O oh, my Lord, in your remembrance my heart flourished, and in confiding to you I relieved my pain of fright. So, O oh, my Lord, and O oh, the one whom I hope, and O oh, the one who is the ultimate destination and grantor of my request, separate between me and the sin of mine that disables me from abiding by your obedience. For I only ask you due to the ancient and long resting of hope upon you, as well as the great coveting of you, in which you obliged yourself with, from compassion and mercy. Evidently, the command is yours, for you are the only one without partners, and all creatures are in your maintenance and within your grip, and everything submits to you. Blessed you are, O Lord and cherisher of the world. O oh my Lord, bestow your mercy upon me when my excuses have failed and when my tongue has ceased to be able to answer you on the judgment day and my intellect has subsided upon your questioning. So, O oh, to whom I submit my utmost hope, do not disappoint me when my tragedy has intensified and do not reject me due to my ignorance and conceit and do not deprive me your mercy due to my lack of patience and provide for me for I am poor and bestow your mercy upon me for I am weak. O oh, my master, upon you I rest my dependence, destination, hope, and reliance, and with your mercy I cling, and on your grounds I conclude my journey, and to your generosity I direct my request, and with your generosity, O oh Allah, I commence my prayer, and with you I seek relief from my indigence, and with your wealth I mend my poverty, and under the shadow of your pardon I stand, and to your generosity and benevolence I raise my eyesight, and to your favor I prolong my vision. So burn me not in the hellfire, because you are where I place my hope, and reside me not in the bottomless pit, for you are indeed the comfort of my eye. O oh, my master, disappoint not my expectation in your benevolence and known favor because you are my confident and security, and do not deprive me of your reward, for you are aware of my poverty. O oh, my Lord, if the end of my life has neared and my deeds did not bring me near you, then I hereby render my admission of sin as my justification. O oh my Lord, if you pardon me, then no one is more worthy of pardoning than you. And if you punish me, then no one is more just than you in judgment. O oh Lord, have mercy towards my expatriation in this life, and my tragedy upon death, and my solitude in the grave, and my loneliness in the grave. And because whenever I am dispatched for judgment before your hands, my situation is humiliated. And forgive what is concealed from the humans of my secretive bad deeds, and prolong for me what you veiled my secret sins with. And confer your benevolence on me when I am laying motionless on the deathbed so that the beloved of my relatives surround me and grant me your bountifulness when I am stretched on the funeral bath so that the good deeded of my community may wash me and bestow your kindred tenderness upon me when I am carried while my relatives hand over the extremities of my coffin and award me your generosity when I am transported and find finally delivered and left alone in my grave, and have mercy on my solitary confinement in this new residence, so that I may not be comforted by anyone but you, O oh, my master. If you entrusted me with my affairs, I would perish. My master, then whom do I seek rescue with if you would not avert my stumble? To whom would I seek shelter with if I lost your kindred care in my dormancy? To whom would I resort to if you did not relieve my destitution? My master, who will be on my side and who will bestow mercy upon me if you don't? And whose bounties would I anticipate if I lacked your grants on the day of my destitution? And to where shall I run away from my sins when my fate is concluded? 
My master, punish me not while I am pleading to you. O my Lord, fulfill my desire and secure my fright, because I cannot avert the result of my numerous sins except with your pardon. My master, I am asking you for what I don't deserve, but you are the Lord of the righteousness and the Lord of the forgiveness. So forgive for me and veil me from your sight with a cloak that masks all my liabilities, thus forgiving me so that I may never be reclaimed with it. Indeed, you are the possessor of ancient favor, great pardon and generous forgiveness. O oh my Lord, you are the one who overflows the streams of favors on those who do not even implore you and on those who rejected your divinity. So how would you not, O oh Master, grant the same to the one who implored you and submitted with certainty that the creation is yours and the command is to you? Praised and glorified you are, O oh Lord and cherisher of the worlds. O oh my master, your slave is at your doorstep. His desperate need has rooted him before your hands. He knocks on the gates of your generosity with his prayer, and he solicits your gracious consideration in relieving his dilemma through his heart's anticipation in you. So please don't turn your honorable face away from me and accept from me what I plead for. For I have pleaded with this prayer and I am hopeful that you would not turn me down since I have always known of your benevolence and mercy. O oh my Lord, you are the one who is never burdened by the pleas of the beseecher, nor are you ever encumbered in rewarding your grantee. Verily, you are how you describe yourself, and above what we describe. O oh my Lord, I ask you to grant me a rewarding patience, a neighboring relief, a true affirmation, and a great reward. I ask you, O oh my Lord, for all the good, whether I know of it or not. I ask you, O oh my Lord, for the best of what have been asked by you from your righteous believers, O oh, the foremost of whom was ever asked, and the most generous that has ever given. Fulfill my quest in myself, my family family, parents, children, proximate community, and my brothers and sisters in you, and enrich my living and ascend my bravery, and improve all of my affairs, and cause me to be a person whom you have destined to have prolonged his life, and improved his deeds, and consummated your gifts upon him, and accepted his performance, and made live a good life in permanent joy, utmost integrity, and complete living. Indeed, you do as you please and not as others please. O oh Lord, distinguish me with your distinctive remembrance, and do not allow any of what I see closeness to you with of good deeds, in the middle of nights or the extremes of days, to be an object of pretension, seeking of reputation, arrogance or extravagance, and cause me to be of those who humble themselves to you. O oh my Lord, award me vastness and sustenance and security in my homeland and the comfort of the eye in the family, finances and offspring and the continued enjoyment of your bounties and health and strength in the body and safeguard in faith and forever utilize me in establishing your obedience and that of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. As ever long as you advance my age and compel me to have the biggest share among your worshippers in whatever good you ever cost to descend, and especially what you award in the month of Ramadan, in the night of decree, and what you are awarding every year from mercy that you dispense, and good health that you harness, and crises that you deter, and good deeds that you accept and bless, and sins that you acquit, and allot me with the ability to conduct pilgrimage to your holy house in this year, and every year thereafter and grant me vast sustenance from your vast bounties, and protect me, O oh my master, from encountering the misfortunes of life.
and fulfill on my behalf all my borrowings and satisfy any injustice that I have committed to others, so that I may not be harmed by any of it, and preoccupy the hearing and sights of my enemies, and be jealous, and those who oppress me and award me victory over them, and comfort my eye and delight my heart, and award me relief and resolution in all of my misfortunes and extremities, and compare Tell anyone who wishes me harm from all your creatures to be beneath my feet and guard me from the evil of the shaitan and the evil of the monarch as well as the evil brought about by my wrongdoings and cleanse me from all sins and salvage me from the hellfire with your divine pardon and award me paradise with your mercy and marry me to the companions with the beautiful, big and lustrous eyes with your bountifulness and reunite me with your righteous servants Muhammad and his household the righteous, the virtuous the pure and the elite your peace, mercy and blessings be upon them, their bodies and their souls O oh my Lord and my Master, I swear with your exalted might and majesty that if you reclaim my sins, that I will call upon your mercy. And if you reclaim my meanness, I will call upon your generosity. And if you forward me to the hellfire, I will inform its inmates about my adoration of you. O oh my Lord and my Master, if you were to not forgive but your devotees and constant obeyers, then to whom would the sinners resort to? And if you were to not honor but the people of loyalty to you, then to whom the offenders would resort to? O oh my Lord, if you cause me to enter the hellfire, it will be to the pleasure of your enemy. But if you cause me to enter paradise, it will be to the pleasure of your prophet. And verily, O oh Allah, I know that the pleasure of your prophet is more favorable to you than the pleasure of your enemy. O oh my Allah, I ask you to saturate my heart with your love, fearing and observing you, believing in your holy book, faith in you, fright from you and longing unto you. O oh, the one who is full of majesty, bounty and honor, render me loving of your meeting and love my meeting, and grant me in meeting you comfort, happiness and honor. O oh, my Lord, unite me with the virtuous of those who preceded me, and render me to be among the virtuous of who remained, and lead me to the way of the virtuous, and aid me in restraining myself from sin, with whatever you aid your righteous believers with, and culminate my deeds with their best, and make my reward from it heaven with your mercy, and assist me in implementing the virtues that you granted me, and Anchor me on the right path, O Lord, and return me not to an error you rescued me from before. O the Lord and cherisher of the worlds, O my Lord, I ask you to grant me a faith that has no maturity until I meet you. Prolong my life as long as you maintain me on it, and claim my soul as long as you claim my soul while it is on its faith, and resurrect me as long as you resurrect me on it, and purify my heart from pretension, doubt, and seeking reputation through your religion, so that all my deeds would be so only intended for you, Ya Allah. O oh my Lord, award me insight in your religion, and understanding in your judgment, and awareness in your knowledge, and surety in your mercy, and piety that shields me from committing sin, and brighten my face with your light, and render my affinity solely in what you possess, and claim my soul on your path and on the religion of your Prophet, peace of Allah upon him and his household. O oh my Lord, I seek refuge with you from laziness, failure, misery, covertliness, stinginess, unawareness, cruelty, humility, poverty, indigence, and every calamity, and the exorbitant of sins, whether they are apparent or concealed. And I seek refuge in you from a self that is never content, and a stomach that is never satisfied, and a heart that is never pious, and a prayer that is not accepted, and a 
deed that is not beneficial if committed. And I depend upon you, O Lord, to safeguard myself, my religion, my finances, and all of which you awarded me from the evil of the cursed shaitan. Indeed, you are the one who hears and knows all things. O my Lord, indeed, no one can shield me from your punishments, and I cannot find before you any other shelter. So leave not in me any deed worthy of your punishment, and lead me not back into jeopardy, and lead me not into painful retribution. O oh my Lord, accept my prayer and renown my commemoration, and elevate my degree, and forgive my sin, and remember me not with my bad deed and culminate the reward of my convening, my speaking and my prayer in your satisfaction in heaven, and award me, O Lord, all of what I ask to you and increase it with your bountifulness. Indeed, I'm truly full of desire towards you, O Lord and cherisher of the worlds. O my Lord, you have revealed in your holy book for us to forgive those who committed injustice towards us. And we have committed injustice by sinning, towards ourselves, so pardon our conduct, for you are more worthy of pardoning than we are. And you commanded us not to turn away the needy who knocks on our doors. And I hereby come to you, needy, so turn me not away until you fulfill my need. And you commanded us to treat justly those whose freedom reigns we hold. And you hold our reins of freedom, so liberate our necks from the hell of fire. Oh, the shelter I seek whenever I am in misfortune. Oh, my guardian from my hardship. To you I resort and with you I appealed for help and sought refuge. And I would never seek anyone but you, nor would I ever request relief but from you. So come to my aid and relieve me. O oh, one who liberates the captives, accepts the little of good deeds and pardons the numerous of sin. Accept from me the little good that I have done, and forgive for me the numerous sins I have committed. Indeed, you are the most merciful and oft forgiving. O oh, my Lord, I ask you to grant me a faith that you endure my heart on, and a true certainty in believing, so that I may ascertain that, indeed, nothing will happen to me except for what you have destined for me, and award me contentment in my presiding and circumstances with whatever you have apportioned for me, O oh, the most merciful of the mercifuls. Peace of thee be upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his honored family. Sadaqallahu al-Azim. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta sami al-Alim.